name is Alice Wynn and I have written this book which is called In Memoriam and it is the story of two young men who fall in love in the trenches of World War One. The story begins at this idyllic boarding school in the English countryside. Think Brideshead Revisited or The Secret History. Uh, and it is the story of these two very close friends, Henry Gaunt and Sidney Elwood. And they're very close despite having many differences. Henry Gaunt is a bit depressive and gloomy and a pacifist. Sidney Elwood is glamorous and romantic and incredibly excited about the prospect of a European land war. Both of them are in love with each other, but neither of them can tell each other because it's 1914 and they have no way of communicating this. Soon, they and all their friends have enlisted to go fight at the Western Front. And against this horrible backdrop of this terrible war, all the tension that's been simmering between them starts coming up to the surface. But the question now is, will they or will any of their friends survive? There are sort of too many World War I books uh, that inspired my book for me to be able to list them all. So I thought instead I would tell you a little bit about some books I really like uh, that I think are in some way comparable uh, to mine. So um, first starting with Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. It feels ridiculous to compare my book to this because this is one of the best books in the world. Uh, it is this incredible story. It's a gay love story, very, very sad gay love story set in Paris in the 1950s and the prose is just out of this world it's just it's so beautiful james baldwin used to talk about how every sentence should be clean as a bone uh, that is the aim he said so um gorgeous book if you like this you maybe you'll like mine My, <laughs> this is so good uh and then this is the secret history which is also what a classic really amazing story about um a bunch of like cool kids at a private university who kind of conspire to murder someone because they're just so cool um and that's really the, the premise of it but it's this kind of beautifully written exploration of sort of social pressure and elite circles and what they make you want to do and i think uh that is also linked partly to the first part of my novel especially the part set in the boarding school and then uh, the third book that I don't have with me uh, that I thought I would mention is Fatima Bhutto's The Runaways, which is about the radicalization of Muslim youth. And I think it's this really beautifully written, really very easy, fun read actually, about these, these three Muslim teenagers who all get radicalized in different ways. But it, I think in some ways it's relevant to In Memoriam because it's about how young people just crave like glory and importance and it's so easy for older people to manipulate them through that desire and i think you know the, the reasons that my character elwood long to go logs to go to war are very similar to the reasons that the characters in this book long to go and join up and fight in the middle east because it's this it's this craving to to make a mark on the world uh so it's a slightly you know surprising comparison perhaps but I, I think it's it's a really beautiful book so if you liked any of those um maybe give them a memory and a go thank you so much